What up YouTube? This is Steven and welcome back. Alright, so in this video, and by the way, before I even get into this video, I know that this is extra, extra late and this been happened, but it just popped into my mind. I'm like, I should probably make a video about this. Alright, so in this video, I want to give a shout out to Dwayne Stafford for beating Dylan Roof's ass. And some of you I know some people may be like, who are these people, right? Because sometimes we just be forgetting about stuff. But for those of you who don't remember, or, well, you know, forgot, <clears throat> Dylan Roof was that, you know, cave beast, you know, that cave demon who went into a black church, you know, you know, received the word, you know, the word of the good Lord, and then shot and killed nine black ch churchgoers just because you know just because they were black right <clears throat> and then he after he gets you know after he does this he is you know detained not by not you know not like you know shoving him down to the ground like he's like some innocent you know black girl at a uh pool party or coming from a pool party you know no they just escort him out you know very gently you know Dylan Roof complains he's hungry and he gets to go to Burger King right that bullshit <clears throat> I'm like I'm like okay if this dude was black he would be not be, he, he wouldn't be getting none of that in fact he would probably be, have been like killed on site probably if he had done this all right uh, another story for another day but yeah, um, so that's Dylan Roof. Just in case you may have forgot, right? But this is some, this is someone that we don't need to be forgetting about. You know, I know we got a lot of things on our mind. You know, not a lot on our on our plate, but we just need to, you know, remember this dude. You know, <clears throat> and make sure that justice is served for those nine black churchgoers who were slain and killed by this demon. You know, this cave demon, you know, creatures, demons that spawn from the cave, right? <clears throat> um, and by the way, you notice that after this happened, there's always been like these, like every now and then there'll be like a human interest piece story about this, this demon, Dylan, right? And like, oh, you know, his, you know, um, a black guy stole his girlfriend, you know? And are like um, talking with his family, right? While the victims, on the other hand, I don't see many stories coming out about the victims. And if there are stories, it's usually covered by the black press, not the mainstream press, right? So the victims were being dehumanized while Dylan was being humanized, right? As the media usually does when it comes to these situations, right? Just something we uh, need to call out <clears throat> and remind ourselves of. Um, oh yeah. And here is a picture of uh, Resident Cave Beast, Resident Demon, Dylan Roof, right? Look at this dude. And as well, kind of androgynous too. All right. And here is a picture of uh, Mr. Dwayne Stafford, right? Looking very human, you know, very regal, you know. Looks like he's uh, going for some dreads there. All right. Good job and shout out to Dwayne Stafford for kicking Dylan Roof's ass, you know. <clears throat> um, and also some details on that ass whooping, right quick. Um, so Dylan was walking out of his cell to go to the shower, right? And let's see. Um, as Dylan left his cell, um, Dwayne was able to get out somehow. <laughs> I don't know how. Maybe he was like, eh, I don't know. But he was able to get out. And he ran to Dylan, you know, ran down the stairs and was able to get to Dylan. Then he started punching Dylan a number of times. And Dylan wound up suffering minor bruising to his face and back area. 
area. And Dylan and his folks do not want to press charges, you know. And they probably aren't pressing charges because they know that this it'll just bring up too much. Like, you know, it'll be like, really? You press the charges over this? And plus they probably are just interested in trying to get Dylan Roof at least out of the death sentence. Right? So they probably don't want to be like battling one case and battling another case and plus this costs money too right um, so you know Dylan just took that ass whooping so and that's what he should do he should take that ass whooping and really he deserves the death penalty for this there are some crimes that you can come back from this isn't one of them right and by the way in this news article by the Washington Post they definitely is like wanted to mention just in case we didn't know that Dwayne Stafford is black. <laughs> They're like, uh, Stafford, who's black, punched Ruth a number of times and assaulted him quickly. Right? And that's a little strange too, because usually, right, when these incidents come up and white folks be the aggressor, they <clears throat> they usually don't want to mention race. But in this situation, they mentioned race even though Dwayne never, based on what was reported here, uh, Dwayne didn't call him any racial names, any racially charged names. So they, I guess they're trying to connect the fact that, you know, Dwayne's black and he's, you know, attacking Dylan because he's white and he killed nine churchgoers, which is actually um, pretty tame, you know, and pretty reasonable and pretty justified but you know you know the media gonna have white folks back right no matter what they do especially when it comes to us they don't care when it comes to themselves then all of a sudden they can kind of perhaps find you know some morals some ethics but when it comes to us all of a sudden it's like oh you know it's they just want to play dumb and act like um, they don't know what's up but you know they do that's just a little a tactic that they be doing but um, you know so yeah shout out to Dwayne Stafford for whooping Dylan Roos ass and I think like we need to have more folks like Dwayne Stafford to keep it real like if you're gonna be about that life then at least kinda like be about that life for your community at least in some of the things you do at least right <clears throat> um, for instance like George Zimmerman still walking around. Someone needs to knock him upside the head a couple of times. You know, at least that's and you're getting off. You know, you really aren't getting off pretty easy, right? Because he could have just you know choked the dude and like choked the this mutant mole rat out and killed him if he really wanted to, right? Um, but. You know, he probably don't want to get, like, a death sentence on him. And you know, when he gets a death, like, if he gets this charge on him, they're going to go full force with this and going to try to make him out to be the example. Even though Dylan killed, like, nine people, they're going to, you know, they're going to go harder on Dwayne for obvious reasons, right? Because he's black and Dylan's white, and they got to make a got to make a statement like you you know black people can't be attacking white people like that and getting away with it like we can do that to you but you can't do that to us we're gonna nip this in the book right now before it begins right <clears throat> you know so yeah I guess that's pretty much all I had to say you know just shout out to Dwayne Stafford you know hopefully he getting out soon hopefully that didn't add too much more time onto his sentence you know Hopefully he can come out and turn his life around. I don't really know much about what he's in for, so I don't know. Um, uh, but hopefully, you know, you know, things can, you know, get better, right? So, yeah, that's all I got to say for the time being. Thanks a lot for watching. Adios and goodbye for now.